Hey, Shalom Shalom Mishpokha. Welcome to another edition of Ray Bash's Ramblings. I'm your host, Rabbi Yehuda Ben Shomer. You know what? Nobody likes a fake. Nobody likes a knockoff. You know? I mean, how annoyed do people get when they think they're getting a deal on the street corner from a vendor, you know, who's selling watches out of his trunk and thinks he's getting a Rolex, walks away and says, Oh, man, it says Molex, not Rolex. Man, I, got, I just got taken, man. I got had. Um, nobody likes these, like, dollar store remake DVDs of classic fairy tales. I mean, Disney has kind of gotten the market on the famous fairy tales, and when they animate them through computer or through cartoon, you know, they become instant classics and great hits. And then you go to this dollar store or Walmart and see these, like, cheap old DVDs trying to pawn off Aladdin or trying to pawn off Snow White and everything. It's just not the same, man. It's hokey. It's, it's, it's cheesy. Nobody likes a fake. And I don't know what it is about religious people, but so many of them refuse to be real. And they're hypocrites without even knowing it, without even wanting to be or meaning to be. You know, it's like they want to fall into the stereotypical cookie cutter, what the world perceives them to be. You know, like when anybody thinks of a Native American, uh, they think of somebody that's just real stoic, just got like a stone expressionless face very stoic, you know? And, uh, you know, when they think of, like, maybe a Buddhist or something, or, or, you know, one of those Eastern religions, they think of somebody that's quiet and just kind of smiling all the time and, oh, oh, and sort of a meditative state and everything's all copacetic and peaceful and every word that comes out of his mouth drips with knowledge and his wisdom. And, it's just this cookie cutter image and it's like come on people be real have a personality don't copy off of somebody else you know here's one reason why people are so turned off to Christianity and even turned off to Messianic and that's already Judaism okay let's be fair let's be blunt here it's because people are fake people people are just trying to be this cookie cutter I don't know kind of person what they think a Jew should be, what they think a Christian should be, how Christians and Jews have been stereotyped and portrayed in the past, you know, how, you know, how a Christian is always prim and proper and, you know, they're very calm and, you know, they don't get excited about anything and, you know, they just walk and they always keep their posture and talk in complete sentences and articulate very, or something crazy like that, you know. Or maybe they come from the South and they're this, you know, Protestant Christian from the South. <laughs> Boy, they're just one of these good old boys, you know. Well, bless God, hallelujah, every word that comes out of their mouth, praise God, has Jesus or God on it, you know. And they just try to be so down home and stuff like that. Man, be original. Be yourself. Um, I mean, if, if you're in the workforce, if, if, you, if you travel outside your religious circle um, moderately, you will see people's attitudes. Like I live in a community that is that has a very high percentage rate of um, Pentecostals living around. Okay, and you know, you got the women with the buns in their hair and the skirts all the way down to their ankles and stuff like that. And it seems like every single one of them carry themselves in the very same way. Like they think that's the way they should carry themselves, where their their chin and their nose is up a little bit, and you know they're just you know they're all quiet and submissive, and you know you see them like walking around the track of the gym and they got their skirt on you know or something and I'm not trying to knock the way they dress or, or, or anything I really admire their modesty but yet their attitude and their persona if, if they can only see how people view them that are outside of their circles if they can only understand and see that I mean how different would 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 they become how you know how would that change the way they are I mean I've been different ever since I was born. You know, I've always been kind of the the, the guy who marched to the beat of a dr different drummer, uh, you know, somebody uh, that, that wasn't, that was a nonconformist and um, who always pushed the envelope and has always tried to be very self-expressive and extroverted. Um, and, you know, I've always tried to be original. I've always tried to be myself. And, you know, sometimes people get offended by the way I act. Sometimes people wonder why I don't act like a normal rabbi. Some people wonder why, you know, I get all, you know, sarcastic sometimes or, uh, 
you know, my humor is a little bit different or whatever. Maybe I cop an attitude or something on one of my videos and people wonder, oh man, I'm being me. I'm being who God called me to be. And one time I got an email from a lady who says, well, why can't you be like Rabbi so-and-so? Well, because God didn't call me to be Rabbi so-and-so. I'm not going to teach, act, live or preach or, or do anything like rabbi so-and-so because that's not me when i stand before god when all said and done you know he's not going to say well how come you weren't like rabbi so-and-so no he's going to say why weren't you like rabbi yehuda if i was ever false or fake in any way he says why weren't you like rabbi yehuda why were you not the person that i called you to be the person i've created you to be Look, people, God has made you with, with a very specific personality, with very specific character traits that, that, you know, that could either go one way or the other. They could go to the right or to the left. You know, they could either go to the left and, and be, um, be honed and forged and used and manipulated in such a negative way, or they can be very positive and constructive. That's up to you. You know, I've got a friend who I uh, nicknamed Peter. Why? Because he's rough, he's tough, and he always speaks his mind. And when he was a young believer, he always got his foot stuck in his mouth, just like Peter, just like Kepha. You know? But he had that ragged edge, hardcore, in-your-face, black-and-white attitude. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's how he used it which could be perceived as right or wrong. You know, I said, you know what? God has given you that personality where either people are going to love you or they're, they're going to hate you. And you've got to learn how to hone that into into the right way so when you do go off on the attack when you go on the defensive that you're not coming across in in a sarcastic harsh negative abrasive way but but you know your words just kind of smack in the face like a like a splash of cold water and shock people back into reality and you will be able to bring them back to messiah you know some people god has created to be such a gentle kind soft-hearted loving spirit and and with their love and gooeyness they bring people to him and others you know he created to be like in your face hardcore and that's how they bring people to him you know god has created everybody to be different to be who they are so be real man don't be fake because don't go out into the workforce and just be the stereotypical cookie cutter Christian or Jew, Messianic Jew, Natsari Jew that you have created in your own mind or that the way you see how you think it should be. Man, be you. People want you know uh, want you to be real. I just met somebody this week that uh, has never met a Jewish person before. And they've had all these misconceptions and preconceived ideas of what a Jewish person is. And me, just being myself, I was cracking the guy up, keeping him in stitches. He says, you know what, you might convert me to Judaism after all. You know, he's saying it tongue in cheek, being joking. But every once in a while he'd say, oh dude, I love this man. Man, this guy's a riot. Man, get a load of this, get a load of this guy. <laughs> man, the more he talks, the more I like him. And I'm not saying to praise myself in any way. I'm just saying I was touched that he would say that because he's one of these, you know, uh, you know, rough, rough and tumble. You know, guys on the outside. That's you know, um, you, you, you know, he he just he just gives it to you straight. And so if he likes you, he likes you. If he doesn't, he doesn't. He's gonna let you know. And it really was a compliment. Those those things that he said, even though some of them were tongue in cheek, it was a compliment because you know what? He knew that I was being real. He saw the real me. He saw who I really was. He didn't see some kind of fake stereotypes, personified Jewish rabbi that maybe the whole world thinks one should be. He saw me. He saw me for who I am. You know, and he liked what he saw. He knew that I wasn't being fake. He knew that I shot, shot straight from the hip. I may have said things that he didn't agree with, but he could appreciate it because he knew it was me. It wasn't coming from religion. It wasn't coming from, you know, stereotype. It wasn't coming from what other people think I should be. It was coming from me and it was coming from my convictions. It was coming from my heart. It was coming from the way I understand the word of God. And he appreciated that, even though maybe he didn't agree with it all, man. He appreciated that. So people, be real. Don't be the, this fake knockoff, because nobody likes a fake. Nobody likes a knockoff. People want raw. People want real. And that's why a lot of people don't come to Messiah. That's why a lot of people don't come to Torah, because they don't like the hypocrisy and people being fake. And fake people don't realize they're being hypocrites many times. Many times they don't realize they're being fake. They're just trying to be what they think they should be in their mind, what, the, you know, what they've been taught of others how they should be. Find out who you are. Be you. Be the best you you can be, according to Torah, walking in the footsteps of Yeshua Messiah by walking and following the Torah. Running out of time here. Thanks for watching. Shalom and Shavuot Tov. Bye-bye.